All right, welcome. Here we are at the S&P 500 drawdown tool. Now, a lot of people ask me, how will uh, your system work when the markets are crashing or the market goes sideways or the market is rallying? Or if you just want to know where the S&P is at, because the S&P is uh, in the stock investing world, one of the universal known uh, benchmarks. And as an investor, your goal is to be beating the S&P. Because anybody can buy SPY and get the exact same returns as the S&P. So if you're going to work at investing and be good at investing, then you need to be rewarded with a higher return than the S&P. Make sense? All right. So here we go. This is the S&P right here. Uh, we started back on 3-6-2009. Um, I believe this is when the market was bottoming out and getting ready to uh, enjoy its, its great rally. And so what I've done here is anytime the S&P is 20% or lower than its last all-time high, it's going to be highlighted in red. So it'll be easy for you to find these times when the S&P dropped 20%. Right here, we found one, 10-4-2011. It hit a new low, 21.58% below its last all-time high. The last new high was 5 2 11, And ever since then, it's been just making uh, new lows. So 5 2 11 to 10 4, 11 is when it crashed 20%. So use the uh, the compare tool and put that in there. So from 5 2 11, uh, when the market was crashing, now these... This number right here in the S&P is a little bit different because we're using the closing price rather than the uh, haul time uh, intraday highs and lows as we saw on the S&P drawdown. And then you can see in this time frame, uh, this was uh, the 2-1 did 150%. 3-0, 79%, 1-1, 69, 2-0, 57%. There's plenty of settings that were beating the market. And by the way, 2-1 was our default setting back then. And uh, we really did have a good run when the market is crashing. So this system works really well when the market's crashing. Go. We got another Luno on 1224, 2018, uh, 1226, 2018. Both of those were below the 20%. And the last time it had made a new high was... 921.18. So again, we go to our settings compare, and you can see the S&P had dropped almost 20% there. And you can see, look at all these settings that are now beating the S&P. All right, so anyway, I hope this helps, and uh, we'll see you in our next video.